Hi class, so I want to introduce to you weaving. Um, some of my first graders have already made paper plate weavings, but I thought I would share this really fun project with all of you so that way anyone can make it at home. Um, it's pretty simple, you don't need many materials other than a paper plate and yarn. Weavings are created and made on a uh, machine or a tool called a loom. Looms can either be really, really big, they can sit on the floor and make large weavings. Looms can also be tabletop looms, or they could be something as small and simple as using a paper plate. Even cardboard works just as well. Looms, there are two different looms that I'm going to show you how to make today. Um, one is a square loom, uh, square weaving, and another is a circle loom or circle weaving. All right, so the first uh, weaving I'm going to make is my square weaving. I have a paper plate. I did paint the paper plate before getting started. It's not something you have to do, but for my classes, I had them paint them to make them a little bit more colorful and interesting. So the first thing I did is you can see that there are two little notches on the top and the bottom. What I did is I made three little lines on the back and then I cut them with scissors. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pair of scissors, some yarn, and a paper plate. Now this paper plate is thick. Um, it works best with a thicker paper plate. You also can do the same thing with a piece of cardboard, um, but what I had is paper plate at home. Um, if you use a paper plate that's not as thick, it could uh, break and it wouldn't be as easy. This is strong and sturdy, so it's gonna hold the yarn. So the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my piece of yarn and I'm going to create my warp strings. Now my first graders, you should know what warp strings are. They're the skeleton of a weaving that you weave your weft strings around. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot, pretty big knot on the end of a piece of yarn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn, I'm going to put it behind my paper plate with my long tail on the front and my short tail in the back, and I'm going to put it in the very first notch. Now my knot should hold, but it's not going to stay there forever, so a little piece of tape or hot glue will keep it there nice. And then I'm going to take my long tail and I'm going to put it in my first notch on the bottom take my long tail, I'm going to move it to this neighbor's house, the middle notch. Come on. And then I'm going to pull it up to the top notch in the middle, go to this neighbor's house, the third notch on the top, all the way bottom to the third notch on the bottom. Now you can see that my warp strings are nice and tight. They shouldn't be able to move around as easy. If it is a little loose, you can pull it tighter on either end, so that way your strings are nice and tight. If they aren't tight, it's going to be harder for you to weave your weft strings onto. So I'm just going to turn it around in the back and make a knot. Okay, so I have my warp strings added to my loom. I have three of them, and now I have my second piece of yarn. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of yarn and I'm going to tie it to the very first warp string at the bottom. So that way this string is not going anywhere. Now there's a pattern to weaving. The pattern is an under, over, under, over, under, over pattern. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my long tail I'm gonna go under the middle string, over the third string and pull it through. And I'm gonna turn it to make it easier on myself. My string is on the top of my first string, so now I need to do the opposite. It goes under, over, under, pull through. Now I can turn my loom and do the same thing, go in the opposite direction. My purple string is underneath my first warp string so now I need to do the opposite. It's under, so now I need to go over, over, under, over, pull through. It's over, so now I need to go under, under, over, under, pull through. Now I'm gonna keep going with this pattern all the way till 
until I reach the top. If I run out of string or if I want to add a new color on, I can always attach a new color yarn to this string and keep going. Now the strings that I'm adding on to my warp strings are called your weft strings. Now how I remember warp between weft is your warp strings. You don't want to warp or move or go anywhere. They're your skeleton strings. Your weft strings are the strings that you weave under, over, around your warp strings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue weaving over, under, over, over, under, over, until I finish all the way to the top. Okay, so I added on a new color of string just by tying it to the end of my purple string. So my pink, I'm now going to continue weaving the same direction. My purple string is over my warp string, so now I need to go under. When you get to the top, you can take your last piece of string and then tie it to your last warp string. And then you have a finished weaving. So this is a square weaving because it is shaped like a square. Okay, so I have another paper plate that I'm gonna start doing my circle loom. On the back, I have made nine little tick marks where I'm going to cut on those lines. It's really important to have an odd number of little notches that you create because you're doing an under, over, under, over pattern. If you have an even number, it'll kind of mess up that pattern. So I'm just gonna show you um, how to start cutting in the line. So I'm just take a pair of scissors and cut on each one of the lines that I made. Okay, so I have my nine notches and I'm going to create my warp strings very similar to how I did it on my square loom. I'm gonna take my yarn, put the shorter tail behind a notch. But now I'm gonna do things a little bit different and a little bit more complicated. Now I'm gonna take my long tail, go across and put it in that notch, go to the next door neighbor, go across. You're gonna be making little small X's each time. I'm gonna turn my paper plate, go to the next door neighbor, put it in that notch, make an X, put it in that notch, turn my plate. Okay, so I finished adding my warp strings. This one goes in a little circular pattern. It's okay if yours doesn't 100% look like mine, as long as it kind of goes in a circular shape. Eventually, when we add our wet strings on, it's going to all kind of bunch together I tied my warp strings tightly on the back because again, you don't want these to warp. That's why they call them warp strings. And I have a long piece of yarn that I'm going to attach to add my wet strings. Now what I'm gonna do instead of putting it at the bottom is I'm gonna tie my uh, string onto a warp string close to the middle of my loom because this one's gonna be a circular weaving that's gonna start from the middle outwards. So I'm just gonna tie it on any string, warp string, towards the center. And now I'm still gonna stick with that under, over, under, over pattern, 
but instead of going side to side, I'm going to be going around. So to do that, I'm going to go over the first string, under the string, over, under, over, under, pull through, over, under, over, pull through. Now this one's a lot trickier. What you wanna make sure you're doing is not just continuing to go over under, but you wanna make sure whatever string, the white strings that you went under, the next time you go around, you wanna go over. So I can see that I'm over top of this string here. I need to make sure that I go under this string here. So if I need to skip, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna go over, under, this one and under this one. So I went under two to make sure that I'm now sandwiching that white string between the two red strings. Over, under, over, under. I went un over this one and I went under. I went under this one the last time, so I need to go over, under, over, under. Pull through. Now if you pull tightly, you can start to see that my loom and my weavings are now more centered. Ignore that little tail. So I went under this one the last time. So now I need to go over it. Under, over, under, over, under. Pull. Now I went over this the last time, so now I need to go under again. I know I went under twice, but that's totally okay. Under, over, under, over. Oh, I need to go over this one, so over two, under one. I went under the last time, so good. I make sure I go over this time. Once you get close to running out of string, you can tie another piece of string onto this one, like we did with the square weavings, and continue. So here you got your circle weaving, you have your white warp strings, you have your loom, the tool on which you are weaving, then you have your weft strings. So here's a finished circle loom and a finished square loom. Now you can do the same thing with paper plate or you can use a piece of cardboard, um, anything that really can put notches in to create the tool on which you do your weaving.